Mr. Gulls, uh, we've had a couple of requests on knots and what I want to start with today on a special request is the polymer knot. And why the polymer knot? These days we'll be fishing with braid. There's a couple of guys new to the braid scene and the easiest, yet strongest knot you can use with braid is the polymer knot. Should you tie directly to a hook or a swivel uh, using braid, that would be your best knot. So in some cases where the guys aren't confident in tying, for instance, a leader knot with braid to, to mono, which I'll run through in, in, in videos to come, then you'll use the polymer onto a swivel, you'll tie your nylon or the, the mono or, or fluorocarbon leader onto your swivel and then onto your hook if you want to use a mono or fluorocarbon leader. Otherwise, you'll take your braid and using a polymer knot, you'll tie it straight to your hook. Now, just for a matter of interest, a polymer knot using even mono to a hook or fluorocarbon to a hook is probably one of the strongest knots you can use. And on braid, luckily, the same story. It pulls on itself so it doesn't pull loose. We've tested that and it breaks at a much higher breaking strain than what, for instance, a figure of eight, the trusted figure of eight we all use, will break. So just starting with a polymer, very easy. On the white side I've got braid, all right? You'll take the braid and you'll make a loop, putting it between these two fingers. All right, that loop you'll take, you'll push it straight through the hook, very simple. And then what we refer to as, make sure your loop's long enough to actually do the following knot. You'll see now why I said that. You've got it through the eye of the hook, now what you're going to do is what we refer to as a granny knot. One simple granny knot doing that. Very, very simple guys. Then the loop that's left, you will swing over the swivel or the hook. You'll hold it in your hand like that. You'll pull and then only by pulling the long tag, you'll pull this tight on itself. And once you've pulled it very tight, you grab the tag end. <laughs> and you pull that as tight as what you can. Now remember with all knots, needless to say this, but I'll say it in every time we make a knot, is make sure before you pull that knot that you've wet it, that you've lubricated it. Now I'm going to do the same using a bit of a thicker rope. If the guys that uh, needs glasses can't see this thin rope, what I did, I'll be using a thicker rope quickly. All right, so this is your braid. I formed a loop, as you can see. I'm using this ring as an example of the hooks ring or the swivels ring and you're going to stick the loop through. Once it's through, just a simple granny knot, you swing the loop over your hook or your swivel, you pull it all together, you grab the long end, I don't want to break the polystyrene, you pull it tight and then you grab your tag end and you pull on that. Now that gives you an idea what the knot will look like. Obviously much smaller with mono braid or anything that you can't see it, but on the rope you can see it clearly. And it pulls onto itself, guys. The harder this knot gets pulled, the stronger it gets. It can't slip, so it won't cut through itself. And secondly, I'm gonna say it again, remember to lubricate your knots before you pull them tight. This knot, straight onto a hook with braid, with mono, with fluorocarbon, straight onto a swivel, extremely, extremely strong knot.